Jazz is America's classical music. It strives on instrumental diversity. It's a language inspired by passion, often boisterous. Jazz is about improvisation. It's about performance techniques, where syncopate rhythmic patterns and spontaneous phrases are created. Hi, my name is James Saxmo Gates, inviting you to come study with me at Virginia State University. My approach to music is life. Everything's deal with life. Everything that I've been through is all about reality. Well, see, that's just jazz. Jazz is being odd. It's pure. Come back with that same melody again and making sure that you can transcend that from the inside out. We coming in with that. Okay. Take it again. It, it starts with me. If I'm going to be the artist, then everything feeds off of my energy and my honesty towards the music. You do this. I grew up that way. You know, my mom was a uh, dancer for the Cotton Club, and my dad was a professional saxophone. That's how all this thing took place. You can play these together, if, you know, if you want them. James Saxmo Gates is one of the most interesting musicians I've worked with, you know, from this area, from Central Virginia. He has an energy and an enthusiasm for music that's uh, unparalleled. There's nobody that has more energy or passion about music than James Gates, and his sessions are really exciting. They're ultra exciting. Oh, and uh, when we do this at the beginning, You can do four bars by yourself, then there's gonna be another four bars with percussion. He brings the, the best musicians, but then he brings the best out of them, too. One thing about Miles Davis didn't want, he didn't want to have the music to be perfect. He wanted to be honest. James B. Gates Jr., nicknamed uh, Saxmo. I'm gonna get to the second note. Is that high or low? Full-time professor of music here at Virginia State University. That first alphabet splits the piano in half. What a wonderful addition to Virginia State University, uh, where theory meets practice. Um, you have a three-time Grammy nominated, um, actually a professor here at Virginia State University, with that one-on-one -on -one interaction with our students. Um, it really doesn't get any better than that. Tone means what? I mean, professor Gates has been nominated don't, for don't, three don't Grammy Awards. Deep, and I, at first I was like, wow. I'm, I'm in the same room with someone who's that musically talented, and I appreciate that. I'm, I'm going to ask you right now, if we're in the key of C, mm -hmm. and this way is C right here, what would that one be? Just dealing with the alphabet. D. Huh? D. That's four now. So we got to go with the alphabet. E, F. Right. So now, Professor Gates, he's an energetic right guy. He's always up-tempo. He's ready to talk to you. He's ready to show you something that you've never seen before. He wants people to learn. He wants people to just get where the world is, you know, about our culture, black people in general, where we came from, through music, how we portray our uh, sadness, the struggles we went through in America as slaves and all that. So that's how he's a great person. He connects with students unlike... We do it on purpose now. Any or many people I have ever seen. It's almost instant. The first time he meets a person feels like the 20th time he's met that person. I'll tell you one thing I do in all of my classes, the very first day, first thing I do, I don't even ask what their names are. I don't even talk about my syllabus. First thing I do is take my instrument out the case and I play. <laughs> Once he gets the student into um, that circle of influence, if you will. Again, one. Again, one again. This side he is able to pour be, out what he knows what is and is engaging enough to keep uh, students' interest at a peak level. The goal here at Virginia State University to have this particular awesome jazz program, it goes a lot further than Virginia State. Jazz was the number one style of music culturally for blacks. And then he come in. Do, 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 
That's what we had. If we can uh, punch that some more, that's how we got along. When we get to the next section on the eighth bar, is when we do ah, ah, ah. That's how we supported each other. When we're doing those other things, would you go in there, boom, boom? Um, I know, right? We, we don't have to make that in being time, though. That's how we made sure that everybody was eating all the time. It was, it's bigger than just us listening to music. You know, it's personal. So to not have jazz at HBCU, especially at Virginia State University, man, that's, that's like cutting your knees off. When we, when we get to the solo out, you can, we can keep building and you can go there. When you're talking about soulful jazz, that has come directly from blues roots. I, I, I can't think of anybody that's more fun to work with than, than James Gates. He's, he's got the feel, he understands it, he lives it. He really lives it. And uh, you, you can't deny that. When you, when you hear somebody play, and they're that pure with what they're, they're doing, with their music. It's, it's infectious, and it, it just lifts you, lifts you up. All I want to do is to make sure my legacy is to let people know it's not by mistake. It's called hard work, and make sure you have passion behind it. Virginia State, we can do this together. That's the name of my whole record. My whole actual concept with this particular recording is that we, together, all of us, together, we can make it if, and you feel in the if. That means that if, if you do this, if you do that, and you do this, we all can make it. We all got to work together.